Here are the results before and after implementing these Windows optimization tweaks to boost my PC performance. This is the ultimate guide to making your PC faster for gaming in 2025. I'll show you how to get more FPS, reduce lag, and get the best performance. No need to search anymore. This is all you need to improve your gaming experience. Hit the like button, subscribe, and let's get started. Frustrated with the lag and hyping while you play games? So guys, you need gear a booster. This is the ultimate tool to lower your ping, boost stability, and give you zero lag. Pro players like Asian Jeff and Polarized use it to stay ahead. So why not you? Download Gear Booster now from the link in the description and dominate every match. In the first step guys, let's prioritize games to ensure better performance and fewer stutters by optimizing CPU and GPU resource allocation through the registry. Open the search bar and type registry editor and open it as administrator. Copy the exact path from description and paste it here, then hit enter to access the settings. Find affinity, change the value data to F, set the base to hexadecimal and hit OK. Locate background only, set it to false and click OK. Find GPU priority, change the value data to E, set the base to hexadecimal and hit OK. For priority, set the value data to 6 and click OK. Modify scheduling category and set it to high. Lastly, set SFIO priority to high and click OK. These tweaks will help Windows allocate more power to your games, improving overall performance. Disabling Nagel's algorithm helps reduce latency and improve network responsiveness, ensuring a smoother and more stable online gaming experience with minimal lag. To disable Nagel's algorithm, follow these steps. Press Windows plus X and select Device Manager. Expand the Network Adapters section to find your active network device. Right-click on your network device and select Properties. Navigate to the Advanced tab where you'll find various network-related settings. Look for TCP checksum offload and large send offload. Disable both options by selecting Disabled from the drop-down menu. It often causes latency issues in online gaming, leading to input delays and lag. Disabling it can help create a smoother, more responsive multiplayer experience. Click OK to apply the changes and close the window. In Device Manager, navigate to the System Devices section and locate the High Precision Event Timer. This component is known to impact FPS negatively on certain systems, making it a common tweak to disable it for potential performance gains. I've personally turned it off and noticed an improvement in my system's performance. If disabling it doesn't yield positive results or causes any FPS drops, you can always enable it again. However, for the majority of users, turning off the high precision event timer tends to enhance overall performance, just as it did in my case. Now guys, download this advanced Windows optimization pack on your PC. Simply visit my official website and download it from there. Feel free to scan it with any virus detection tool or website. It's completely virus free. Once the download is complete, extract the folder to your desktop and open it. First, go to the registry folder. Inside, you'll find several registry files. Install them one by one to apply the necessary optimizations. Once you've done that, go back to the main folder and open the tools folder. First, double tap to open the executable file and install PC Manager on your PC. Once installed, open PC Manager. The first thing you'll see is its interface. Navigate to the Home tab where you'll find the PC Boost option. Click on the Boost button to start optimizing your PC by cleaning junk files. Next, go to the Protection section where you can scan your PC for viruses and remove any threats. After that, head to the Storage section. Click on the Scan button to perform a deep scan of your hard drive. This will help identify and remove junk or unnecessary files from your system. Once you've completed these steps, simply close PC Manager. Now install and launch Game Booster on your PC. Once you open it, you'll see a clean and simple interface with different options. The first and most important feature is the Boost option. By clicking on the Boost button, the tool will automatically optimize your system by shutting down unnecessary background applications, freeing up RAM, and allocating more system power to your game. This helps reduce stutters and increases FPS while gaming. Next, we have the Performance tab, where you can scan your system for junk files, outdated drivers, and potential optimizations. Click on the Scan button and it will analyze your PC, showing how much space can be freed up and which tweaks can be applied. If any outdated drivers are found, you'll get an option to update them. 
Keeping your drivers updated ensures that your hardware performs at its best, giving you smoother gameplay. Once you've applied all the necessary optimizations, you can minimize the tool and it will keep running in the background to ensure your PC stays optimized while you play. To get the most out of your CPU's performance, start by downloading and installing the Park Control application, one of the best tools for optimizing power settings. After installing, launch the app and scroll down to select a performance profile. Choose Bitsum Highest Performance for the best results. Now, tweak the settings for maximum CPU efficiency. Disable Parking AC, Parking DC, Frequency Scaling AC and Frequency Scaling DC and set all of them to 100% to ensure full CPU utilization. Next, enable Bitsum Dynamic Boost, a feature that smartly manages CPU threads. It turns off unused threads during light tasks like browsing, but activates all threads when running demanding applications, ensuring maximum power when needed. In the Power Options section, confirm that Bitsum Highest Performance is selected. This setting helps your CPU maintain peak performance, leading to better FPS in games and smoother multitasking. Finally, double check that all settings are at 100%, then click Make Active and Apply to save the changes. With these optimizations, your CPU will run at its best, improving both system performance and gaming experience. To improve system performance by reducing unnecessary visual effects, start by searching for Adjust in the Windows search bar and selecting Adjust the appearance and performance of Windows. In the Settings window, switch to the Custom option. Enable Show Thumbnails instead of Icons and Smooth Edges of Screen Fonts then click Apply. This helps reduce extra animations and effects, allowing your system to run more efficiently, especially when gaming or handling heavy tasks. Now head over to the Advanced tab. This is something not everyone checks. Here, you can control how your computer manages processing power. Set it to Adjust for Best Performance of Programs. Some systems default to Background Services, which isn't ideal for gaming or streaming. By making this change, your system will focus on the main program you're using, ensuring smoother performance and better responsiveness. Next, search for Game Mode in Windows settings and turn it on. This feature helps improve gaming performance by prioritizing your game and reducing background processes that might slow it down. Next, go to Graphics Settings and enable Hardware Accelerated GPU Scheduling. This shifts some processing tasks from the CPU to the GPU, boosting performance, especially in resource-heavy games. Now, optimize specific games for better performance. Under Graphics Settings, select Desktop App, then click Browse to find the game's executable .exe file. Navigate to the game's installation folder. For example, if optimizing Fortnite, go to its folder, open Fortnite Game, Binaries, Win64, and select the Fortnite.exe file. The same method applies to Valorant, Counter-Strike, and other games. Just locate their .exe file. After adding the game, click Options, choose High Performance, and then hit Save. That's it, your game is now optimized for better performance. Now right click on the taskbar and open Task Manager. Then go to the Startup tab, where you'll see a list of programs that launch when your PC boots up. Review the list and disable any unnecessary programs. For example, if you don't need the Riot client to start automatically, disable it. Reducing startup programs frees up system resources, allowing your PC to focus more on gaming and other important tasks. Next, switch to the Services tab in Task Manager. Look for Xbox-related services such as Xbox Auth Manager, Xbox Game Save, Xbox JIP SVC, and Xbox Net. If you don't use Xbox features, right-click each service and select Stop to disable them. This helps reduce background resource usage. If you use the Xbox Game Bar for recording, consider turning it off for better performance. After making these changes, restart your PC to apply them. Now we will disable more services to release more CPU processes. Search for Services in the Windows search bar and open Services Manager. The first service to disable is Background Intelligent Transfer Service, BITS, which manages background file transfers and can use idle network bandwidth, affecting system performance. To turn it off, find Background Intelligent Transfer Service in the list, right-click it, and select Properties. Change the startup type to Disabled, and if it's running, click Stop before applying the changes. Next, look for Remote Desktop Services, which handles remote desktop connections. If you don't use this feature, 
Disabling it can help free up system resources. Right-click the service, select properties, set the startup type to disabled, and confirm the changes by clicking apply and OK. The third service to disable is Sysmain, previously called Superfetch. This service preloads frequently used programs into memory to speed up app launches, but it can sometimes cause performance issues. To disable it, locate Sysmain, right-click it, and select Properties. Change the startup type to Disabled, and, if it's running, click Stop before applying the settings. By disabling Background Intelligent Transfer Service, Remote Desktop Services, and Sysmain, you can free up valuable system resources, reducing unnecessary background activity, and improving overall performance. Now open the Start menu, search for MS Config, and launch it. Navigate to the Boot tab, click Advanced Options, check Number of Processors, and set it to the maximum available. Note that this setting does not boost FPS, but is a test option for power users. Click OK to save changes. Next, switch to the Services tab in MS Config. Check Hide all Microsoft services to avoid disabling critical system functions. Review the remaining services and uncheck any that are unnecessary at startup, such as third-party services that you don't actively use. Click Apply to confirm changes. Let's optimize your drives to improve both their performance and your system's responsiveness. Some believe that optimizing an SSD can shorten its lifespan, but when done correctly, it's completely safe. Start by opening the Start menu, typing Defrag into the search bar, and selecting Defragment and Optimize Drives from the results. This will open a window displaying all the drives connected to your system. Select the drive you want to check, whether it's an SSD or HDD, and click the Analyze button. This will scan the drive to see if optimization is needed. For HDDs, it will show the percentage of fragmented files, while for SSDs, it checks whether the drive requires optimization. If the analysis indicates that optimization is needed, select the drive and click Optimize. For SSDs, this process is nearly instant, whereas HDDs may take longer depending on their size, stored data, and level of fragmentation. It's recommended to optimize any flagged drives, regardless of the time required. You can even close the window after starting the process, as it will continue running in the background without affecting your work or gaming performance. Now press the Windows key plus R to open the Run dialog box. Type Temp and press Enter to open the folder containing temporary Windows files. Once inside, press Ctrl plus and A to select all files, then hit Delete to remove them. If some files can't be deleted, don't worry, this is normal. Next, open the Run dialog again, type percent temp percent and press Enter. This will take you to another folder storing temporary files. Select all files by pressing Ctrl plus A, then press Delete to remove them. As before, some files may not be deleted, which is completely expected. Finally, open the Run box once more, type Prefetch and press Enter. This folder contains additional temporary files that Windows stores to speed up application loading. Select all files with Ctrl plus A, then delete them. If a few files remain, that's perfectly fine. Clearing these folders helps free up disk space and can improve system performance by reducing unnecessary background processes. And that's it for today's optimization guide. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more tips. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.